This Kello Land Living segment is sponsored by JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars. Locally owned since 1998, a true mom and pop shop. You see Brittany and I on the show every day. But there's an entire team behind the scenes that contribute to making this show successful every day. And without them, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. What better way to introduce you to them than by sitting down across the table? I recently sat down at JJ's Wine, Spirits and Cigars with our Kellowin Living Audio Engineer and Technical Director, Derek Domang, to not only learn about the different roles he takes on here at Kello TV, but also to hear about his unique hobbies and the things he likes to do when we're not keeping him busy at the station. Thanks so much, Derek, for joining me here today. Thanks for having me. Yes, I'm drinking the Jester Jilly's Midlife Crisis. I am having the Tequila Sunrise. You're, they're both pretty. Cheers, Cheers to having you here. Mm, that is very refreshing. Mm. So, so good. That tequila is good. All right, Derek, so I know you pretty well. I get to work with you every single day yes. at Kello Land Living. And you're the technical director at Kello. You also do yeah. stuff with graphics. Yes. But just tell me a little bit more about your role and how you even decided that you wanted to go into something like this. So uh, I direct the second hour of the morning show. Um, and originally I was hired to do graphics and that was all mainly Angela stuff. Uh, every, every once in a while somebody else would need something too, which was a lot of fun. Every day was uh, quite different and now uh, every day is still quite different. It's just instead of helping on the stories, I am just directing and bringing those stories to air for the viewer. So when you got to Kello, did you, and started in graphics, did you have any idea or desire to end up doing directing or working with audio? Not at all, actually. Uh, had no plan of doing any of this. The job was kind of uh, like thrown into my lap and I was like, that sounds fun. We should, uh, we should see what, happens here and then I went to basically YouTube University and learned everything YouTube I University. <laughs> learned, I learned everything I needed to know about graphics and Photoshop and everything else uh, Kella was gracious enough to give me a shot and I was like oh my gosh I don't know if I can actually do this or not but then like you just start going and things start clicking and everything every day got a little bit easier and everybody at Kella was also very helpful if I ever had a question uh, so but then all of a sudden it was just like six months in i'm kind of a full-fledged trained graphic designer and i was like wow look at me now and then uh yeah ended up getting nominated for a couple stories for emmys and uh then directing position opened up and i was like well i've done graphics let's try something new and so now i'm a director so when it comes to directing you're basically you know in charge of pulling up everything during the show right and that's kind of a lot on your plate so yes. what do you love about directing a show uh, you have to be a very good like in the details type of a person everything has to be lined up right you have to be able to catch all of the small little mistakes that would derail a show because it's live tv so if a show goes off the rails i mean somebody's got to get it back on track and uh it doesn't happen often Thank goodness, because we're very good at what we do here. But every once in a while, things go wrong, and it's very um, high adrenaline. It's okay. very fun. Yeah. And we also, I get to watch the stories along with you guys, so I'm keeping up with the news and everything else, staying in, in touch with the community, really. We always see what's on the television screen, but we don't realize all the work and what's going on in the back room to make the show successful and to make it happen. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot going on back there. There's a lot being said uh, even while you guys are on air. Well, for Kelland Living, it's a little bit different, but also there's a lot going on in the background of, of a Kelland Living show too. So we keep it fun. We keep it uh, new and fresh. And we also have to talk about too, because you're not wearing your blazer today. And I thought it was Blazer Tuesdays. Oh no. Well, <laughs> we, we started a new thing. Blazer Tuesday, Suco Tuesday, whatever you have. Uh, a lot of people have very nice clothes and we don't exactly get to wear them enough. So we started a right. uh, Suco Tuesday. There's Aloha Friday as well. You know, you can hop in on that too, Britt. Aloha whatever. Friday? Yeah, just just wear something Hawaii style, you know. Okay, Every I think Friday. you can do that. Yeah, just to get yourself into the right mood for the weekend. Well, now I guess when I come upstairs and say good morning every day, I'm going to have to say Aloha on Fridays. Exactly. 
Yes. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember that. Yeah. So let's That's talk a, a little one. bit more about you. We learned what you do behind the scenes at Kello, but what do you like to do in your free time? Oh gosh, a lot of things. <laughs> Hanging out with friends and doing what, you know, we, the last weekend we went kayaking down the Big Sioux River. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I play a lot of golf actually, but uh, like slacklining, um, Okay, slacklining, what is that? So it's like basically you take like a tie down for the back of a truck and you put it between two trees and you walk across it. But oh, it's fun. like it's like a tight rope, but because it stays mainly slack, they call it slack lining. But yeah, no, uh, you'll see it at like McKinnon Park every once in a while or Tud Hill. It's usually if you see people hammocking, they'll probably have a slack line somewhere too. Okay, so it sounds like you enjoy the outdoors. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm usually outside doing something, yeah. Are you from South Dakota? Yes, born and raised. Uh, my mom still lives in the same house that I grew up in. Uh, I have three older brothers. Uh, and one older sister, so I'm the youngest of five. My grandpa is a big influence in my life. He, uh, he's always kind of been the person I've looked up to and whatnot, and uh, tried to emulate or like, uh, be like him, I guess, and whatnot. But. So it sounds like you enjoy the outdoors, you're a really big family man, you yes. enjoy spending time with your family, but I gotta ask because I always see your hair up, Oh, yeah. What do you do to keep it looking so fresh? Give us your uh, secrets. Oh, man. Um, have a great mom who, <laughs> who knows a lot more about hair products than I do. And uh, my, so I'll just actually like, it'll boxes of stuff will just show up to my door. And my mom's <laughs> like, did you get what I sent you? And I'm like, yeah. And she, are you using it? Yes, I'm using it. Yeah. But they're, they love my hair as well. Uh, they hated it when it first started. My mom was always like, when are you going to get a haircut? And then it got to this length and I think she was like wow you really do have very nice hair yeah uh, we should keep this going and take care of it as well so that's, might have to do a segment sometime on hair care and have you that, share your secrets that's and true bring your products in it is uh yeah uh, I've always, I, I need to know like more ways of learning how to wear it as okay. well so like yeah we should we definitely help you make out with this that a too, segment then. yeah all right so what is one thing in Kelloween that people don't know about you something that's really uh, surprising or a fun fact probably that I can kick myself in the head yeah, with my own I just foot. witnessed this for the first time recently yeah. and I couldn't believe I, it because you hit, kick it kind of hard. I, well, yeah, I mean, you have to to make sure that they know that it's accomplished. But I ask everybody else, can you do this? I've never found anybody else who's like, yeah, I can kick myself in the head. So All right, for everyone watching this, if you, you can go. kick yourself in the head, you need to send us a message so, let, let so me we know. can find and see if anyone else has the same hidden talent. And maybe, we'll, maybe we'll post the clip on... Oh, yeah, we for sure are going to share that. Definitely. <laughs> All right, cheers. Thank you so much. Derek for joining Thank me here you. today. At JJ's, they like to say they provide an enhanced adult beverage experience, and we think that's just perfect to sum up the great food and drinks and the great people you'll run into at JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars. They're located at 3000 West 57th Street in Sioux Falls. You can find out more about their specials and events by checking out their website at jjswine.com. And don't forget dessert from the Boozy Bakery. Check out the Boozy Bakery and JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars online to see what is available for takeout or to have right in JJ's Bar. If you're interested in ordering food from the Boozy Bakery kitchen for carryout or curbside delivery, please visit the Boozy Bakery at jjswine.com and click on the Boozy Bakery tab. This Kelloland Living segment has been sponsored by JJ's Wine, Spirits, and Cigars. Locally owned since 1998, a true mom and pop shop.